get a good enough bite with the needle nose pliers, it comes out. Before we go any further, we have to go ahead and grab that little uh, gasket that's inside of here. What I'm gonna do is use a flathead screwdriver and kind of bend this in, this metal, this metal part, bend it in so that way I can create an opening to use needle nose pliers then to just pull it out. And you just wanna be careful not to damage the actual aluminum that it's sitting in. So I'm just gonna go, go gentle, go slow, and just try to bend it in. Might just have to get a big boy out here. Oh, it might be getting somewhere. There we go. And just kind of keep bending it. Just want to be very deliberate. I'm going to use my little tiny screwdriver and I'm going to just tap, tap it in. And uh, I'm not going to try to pry too much, I just want to bend it. Get a good enough bite with the needle nose pliers, it comes out. Okay, so a little bit of finagling. You see how he tore us up. You just gotta stay, stay, stay focused. Okay, it's a little bit. I know it's a little bit scary taking a screwdriver and hammer to the transmission, but I'll show you just a little recap. I basically used this big old screwdriver and I just started bending it in towards you know the opening. And then once I got it bent enough, I just basically took my tiniest screwdriver and gently tapped it in with the hammer and just went slowly up there a bit more just to get separation. You don't want to like pry left or right. You just want to hammer the screwdriver straight up or tap it, tap it straight up. And that'll get more separation enough so you can get your needle nose pliers in, get a good bite, and then just pull it straight out, okay? And this is going to be the new gasket okay and I'm just gonna put some transmission fluid all around it all right all right so now we can go ahead and put this in what I got here is I got a 15 16 inch socket all right and I just flipped it around what I'm going to use it as it's basically a push tool to hopefully push it in nice and straight Let's see if I can do this It in. Okay. Hammer time. All right, so we're, we got it in there relatively straight, and all you gotta do is just tap it in. Just tap it in. Oh, yeah, we're looking good. She's gonna be flush right with that aluminum that you see that she's attached to, okay? There should be no gaps in between. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and install the filter. And that's all there is to it. We hope this video helps you guys out. If you like our work and want to support the channel, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.